so yeah hey everybody look what's going on my name is terry hope you guys and gals are doing well and of course welcome back to the channel here so um if you happen to hear my fans and my air conditioner on in my office here right now i apologize but it's very warm today and my office is just not wanting to cool down so again if you hear it i apologize just was thinking about some things here you know what i mean um in the world of uh, video editing, there are a lot of big players out there. You know, you have Avid, Premiere Pro with the Adobe Creative Cloud. Then, of course, you have one of the best options out there, in my opinion, for a totally free option, DaVinci Resolve. Or if you want another free option, I always recommend to people, there is HitFilm, uh, or more importantly, I should say here, um, HitFilm Express. Okay, that there's the uh, free version of HitFilm. And you know, um, this software, whenever you got to pay for it, it's not cheap. You know, Adobe Premiere Pro with the Creative Cloud is $50 a month. Or if you're a returning subscriber, they always give you an offer for 40% off to make it around $30 USD a month for their entire Creative Cloud. Don't get me wrong, for that amount of money for all the software you gain access to, I think it's actually a pretty decent deal. It's not that bad if you ask me. But... I'm very fortunate enough to be in a situation financially where I can afford it. You know, I'm not rich, but I live comfortably. You know, my bills are paid and I still go out with friends, have a good time. And I just I never got to worry about it. And again, I know my privilege with that. And I know that I'm uh, very fortunate and blessed to be able to say that. But unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that just can't, you know, and um this is a very different topic for this channel for me to talk about and i apologize here fam but i'm you know i'm looking to pick up a side gig like an actual nine to five for lack of a better word you know and i'm actually looking at editing jobs you know i i love to edit video i think it's a lot of fun to sit here and cut and create a story and just that entire process i you know i i just love it i i really do but i'm noticing a lot like about 95 percent of these applications i am looking at or these job offers that i'm looking at they not only require a person to have sufficient knowledge and skills of the adobe creative cloud but they also require any potential new employee to also pay for their own subscription to the creative cloud or at the very least, the subscription for that one specific piece of software, primarily Premiere Pro. And I have a problem with that. It's like if it's a requirement for the job to work at your production company or to edit videos for you, then shouldn't the employer be obligated to pay for the software? You know what I mean? Like maybe if this person applying is already an editor and they they pay for it for themselves maybe they have their own business or something and they just happen to already have it then okay sure that's great but what if you just went to college for you know like filmmaking or editing or whatever it might be and as soon as you graduate your college pricing expires because i don't know if Adobe actually checks on that, but I did have a few friends of mine that said that like a month after they graduated, uh, Adobe emailed them and said that, hey, you know, your student rate is no longer going to be valid and they're going to be charged the full price because they are technically no longer a student. So again, I don't know if that's true or not, but let's say that it is true. Instead of paying 20 bucks a month for the student rate for the Creative Cloud, you're going to be paying either $75 a month for the monthly plan or at minimum $50 a month for the uh, annual plan by the month. You know what I mean? And again, you can sometimes get it for 40% off, but if you're not a returning subscriber, that might not be offered to you, okay? Now, while I totally understand that, you know, the likes of Avid and again, the entire Creative Cloud are industry standards, um, it's, it, it, in my opinion, it's really not fair to those people that just can't afford it, you know, um, especially whenever there's software out there like DaVinci Resolve, which in my opinion is the best free option out there for anybody that wants to get into editing. And a matter of fact, a lot of the skills that I actually learned in Resolve for the first time, I actually transferred over to Premiere because I already knew how to have a workflow to edit. All I had to really do was set up some key binds to be similar to DaVinci Resolve. And I was flying around Premiere Pro the same way I did with 
re resolve. And I did all that for free because there are two versions of re resolve. Again, there's a free version and a paid version. And for about 95% of creators out there, especially if you're like me and you're by yourself and you're a one man band, then the free version of DaVinci re resolve 17 or the new beta version is all a creator will ever need like yeah there might be some a few paid features but unless you're a big pr production team or you work for an, like an editing studio you're probably never going to use them i really do wish that companies out there or just jobs out there would really keep that kind of stuff you know in the back of their mind whenever they are looking for new hires you know again money's tight right now for a lot of people again i understand my place of privilege whenever i say that i'm good but let's face it folks a lot of people out there aren't you know and you know it, it really shouldn't be down to well do i eat this week or do i pay for my creative cloud subscription you know what i mean and granted that might be an extreme example but i'm just saying like for a lot of people out there that very well could be the case so to Anybody out there who might be looking for editors, if somebody tells you that they are proficient in Resolve, please give them a chance. Please work with them. Please try to make it work, especially if they send you a demo reel or of, of, of some kind and they show you how skilled they really are. And if you believe they could be an asset to your company, make accommodations and say, hey, you know what? You can keep using Resolve if you want, but if you want to join us in using the Adobe Creative Cloud, we'll pay for it. You know what I mean? Or even better yet, I really do wish a lot of companies out there would switch to DaVinci Resolve outright because again, it's totally 100% free with no monthly sub unless you want to pay for it. And if you want to pay for the studio option, it is a one-time fee of like $300 per license and that is it. There are no more monthly fees. And a matter of fact, I believe it's a perpetual license to where you get lifetime updates for as long as you use the software. You know what I mean? So, yeah, again, this is normally a it's not the type of content I normally put on here. But I was just, you know, just thinking about this stuff tonight because I was editing that video in Resolve and, you know, just in in awe of like how awesome the software is to be, again, a, com a completely free option. And I'm like, I just can't believe there are actual corporations companies people looking for editors that don't take it seriously as a nle but whenever you're talking about color grading davinci resolve has essentially been a standard for color grading for years but it's not good enough to be an actual choice for editing video know what i mean I, but yeah, I don't know. What do y'all think? Again, this isn't me dogging on the Creative Cloud because I still actively use it. As a matter of fact, a few months or so ago, I actually posted a video about why I think the Creative Cloud, even though it is expensive, is still a good deal. You know, uh, I think there is value there. I wish it was cheaper, but for those of you that can use it, it there's definitely a lot of value there. You know, and a matter of fact, I'll drop a link to that video right up here or down below, wherever, you know. But uh, yeah, just what do y'all think out there, fam? Do uh, do you out there use Re Resolve? Do y'all out there use the Creative Cloud or maybe a combination of the two? Or matter of fact, if y'all out there use something completely different from what I mentioned previously, do me a favor, sign up in the comments below. And uh, yeah, everybody, happy streaming.